What is up, Arizona soccer fans? This is the AZ Kicks It Show. I am your host, Garrett Cleverly, and on today's show, we're going to be joined in studio by Brooke Fabry. She was just called up to the U15 Girls National Team Camp. We're going to talk to her about that, and she was a member of the ODP team that won a championship this past January. Talk to her about how the team's going to defend that title this year and much more. Before we bring Brooke into the studio, plenty of Arizona soccer news to talk about. Here is the rundown for the show. And happening right now is the 6v6 World Cup in Crete. Team USA is there. They're currently second in the group. And they are led by a handful of Arizona natives and people from Arizona who are involved in that program. The coach, Tommy Hurdle. Coaches in our leagues and the Arizona players consist of guys like Chris Ramsell, David Paul, Robbie Finley, Andrew Weber. Like I said, they're currently second in the group. Last year they had a great run at the World Cup where they finished in the semifinals. So if you have a chance, check them out. Live stream at soccerfederation.org. Here is the link right here. You can see it all there. And hopefully Team USA continues the success that they've had over the next couple games at the 6v6 World Cup. Now for some Arizona Soccer Association news, we have our annual awards gala dinner. It's coming back on Saturday, January 25th. Going to be held at the Sheraton Wrigleyville out in Mesa. And right now, we have our nominations open for awards for people to be recognized at that dinner. We have nominations open for Rec Coach of the Year, Boys, Girls, Competitive Coach of the Year, Young Male or Female Referee of the Year, Admin of the Year, and Volunteer of the Year. And so if you think of someone is deserving, they've done a great job, please nominate them. Anyone can nominate them. It can be player, coach, parents, DOCs, anyone can nominate an individual to be recognized. And not only do they get recognized at our dinner, which is pretty cool, um, what we do here at the Arizona Soccer Association is we take those winners and nominate them for regional recognition. And from there, they get to be, hopefully, hopefully get selected to represent a region at USU Soccer's dinner at the Coaches Convention, which will happen the following year. So really cool opportunity uh, for a lot of people who do great things in the state of Arizona. We love to recognize you. So please nominate. You can do that at ArizonaSoccerAssociation.org. Nominations close October 31st. And if you want to participate in the awards gala dinner, make sure to mark it on your calendar. Saturday, January 25th. Before that, we're going to have our leadership conference. We'll announce more details regarding that and who's going to be coming, who's going to be hosting. We have a great special uh, guest who's going to be doing a great lecture um, in the afternoon. So make sure you mark that date. Saturday, January 25th, our leadership summit and awards gala dinner. And like I said, you can nominate for people on our website, azsoccerassociation.org. In December, 20th, 21st, 22nd, our Winter Academy Festival is happening, and our Winter 6v6 Festival is happening. The Winter 6v6 was a lot of fun last year. Um, we're opening up to anyone, so it doesn't have to be your specific team. If you have a friend here and a friend there and a friend there, even if you have a friend that doesn't even play soccer, they can still register and participate. You can make your own team names. You can wear your own jerseys. A chance for you to kind of have a little bit of fun and for you to manage the team. Hopefully not too much coaching from the coach, but for you to have a little bit of fun. So you can register for that and for the Winter Academy Festival. That's between the ages for both of those events. Between 7 and 15 years old, once again, you can go to the AZ Soccer Association. Uh, dot org website also got to mention phoenix rising dude we haven't had easy kicks show in a while like actually kind of a little bit of a while and, and in that time phoenix rising went on a tremendous run where they won 20 games in a row set i, I mean it felt like they broke records like every second i feel like they broke a record every time they breathed i mean that's how incredible that run was for them they got a playoff game coming up here um next weekend i mean it's always a sellout but look if you're on the fence getting tickets be sure to get tickets be sure to go out and support um, Phoenix Rising, I mean, they had an incredible season this year, and we probably will never see another season like this in Arizona soccer. So um, I'm sure they won't mind if you want to jump on that playoff bandwagon as, as they pursue, uh, hopefully, a USL championship this year. Now it's time to bring our guest into the studio. Like I mentioned, Brooke Fabry, she plays on the U. She was she was called up to the U15 girls national team. This is her first ever experience. And across from me is Brooke Fabry. Thank you so much for jumping on the show with me today. Thank you. Very exciting times for you. You get called up to the U15 girls national team. Your first ever call up. Um, love to hear how it went. I mean, was it surreal getting off the plane and going to the camp? And just what was running through your mind? It right was. Now? It was an amazing experience being able to play with the top 60 players mm -hmm. and just like the pace, just everyone being so inviting and the coaches were just amazing. And it was just an overall amazing time. For you, what did you look forward to the most, you know, before you went to the camp? You know, was it being able to play at, at this really high level? Was it going against, was it going against the best players and proving yourself? Was it the coaching? What were you most looking forward to? It was sort of a combination of all uh -huh. of that. Just being able to play was one thing of mm -hmm. just, I mean, it was awesome. And then just like the coaching, being able to meet the coaches mm -hmm. and all that stuff. I was, I mean, I was looking forward to basically everything. What was your favorite part of the camp? Oh, everything? Everything. Not, yeah. like, not like one, there's not no. like one thing where you're just like, oh, this was so cool. And it was, experience. overall, it was just amazing. Really? So, okay, yeah. so what did you take from the camp? 
Well, so I played center back there, and okay. I'm a forward on my uh-huh. team. So I learned how, like, positional-wise and just basically the normal stuff that you have to know for being a center back. Mm-hmm. So, like, stepping to the ball, covering, like, pressure-wise, and pushing up the back line mm-hmm. and stuff like that. I'm guessing it was probably a good perspective, though, to kind of learn a different, you know, mm-hmm. for, force you not to be something that you're familiar with all the mm-hmm. time, right? I mean, did you see any benefit in that? I mean, now I know how to play center back, so I'll take that <laughs> away from it. But also, did your, did your coach know that? Does, yes. Did you know that you will play center back? Now? Yes. Okay. Are you sure you want him to know that? Because we can take this part out if you only want to play forward. No, I'm up to playing okay. center back. So. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. Do you hear that? Oh, I, I hope you hear that. I can't. Or ODP. Maybe we'll see an yeah. ODP playing center. Maybe. Back. Who's your coach this year? Is it Tommy again? Yep. Tommy, Tommy. I know you're watching. You, know, you have another center back just in case. Um, but the camp, though, I mean, now that you've had kind of time to to soak it all in, you've had a few weeks of it removed Mm -hmm. you know just you know what do you think of that experience now and and, and just kind of when you when you talk to people about it what do you tell them uh just all the memories of playing and meeting all the players just come in and it just reminds me of how how much fun it was Mm -hmm. and how cool it was to just be there and playing all that like playing with the players just playing just straight playing just playing i mean was was it i mean did the the level surprise you at all or was it just something like hey like this is it and this is what i know i need to get to it's half and half Uh so it's really fast at first and you kind of have to adjust to that mm-hmm. but then it's sort of like okay this is where i this is where i am right now and i can go up to this level if i work hard enough a good measuring stick then mm-hmm. that's awesome that's awesome because i mean you already play high level soccer to begin with right but this is like the next yeah. level type of thing which is cool um you know one of the cool things that, that you've been a part of the last couple of years is the odp i know i just referenced that um and then you're part of the one of the girls teams that won it last year mm-hmm. which which is rare to have arizona teams <laughs> win we had four win last year two girls teams um, you guys are going to come back, hopefully defend the title. Hopefully, um, yes. You know, what are you looking most forward to with the ODP championships this year? Oh, winning it again. Yeah. Hopefully being able to just claim that title again and playing with all the players that I've met throughout ODP. Yeah, is that pretty cool, like, forming the bonds with players that, like, aren't part of your club? Because that, that was one thing I really always like to see at ODP when I'm out there. Like, you see all the backpacks, right? You see all, like, the 20 different clubs. <laughs> it's such a cool thing to see that because, like, these are kids you won't, normally mm-hmm. wouldn't talk to. You'd probably be like, oh, I can't stand that player or something <laughs> like that, right? But then you realize, like, they're a normal person just like you, right? Yeah. They go to school, they have, you know, mm-hmm. whatever problems and whatnot. But, like, it's kind of fun to kind of get to bond with everyone, right? Because now I'm friends with people across Arizona and now regional and national. Uh-huh. And it's just cool being able to verse them and being like, oh, hi, how's it going? And yeah. sort of thing. And, yeah, it's just awesome. Yeah, now you have more kind of casual conversations. Like, mm-hmm. hey, what's up? Remember that goal I scored on you? <laughs> yeah. Versus, like, you know, so, you know, just, mm-hmm. you kind of tease a little bit. Um, but, but talk about the ODP because, because, I feel like, not that I'm trying to compare ODP to the national team, mm. right? It's, it's not the same. But the concept, though, of, of bringing a lot of players together from different experiences, different clubs, and forming a team, and it's like, hey, go. Yeah. You don't have an extended, like, year-long training period like you have at your club. I mean, do you kind of see how ODP is kind of like that a little bit, where it's kind of everyone comes together, let's figure it out, and go type thing? It is very similar to that. Just national scale is obviously bringing everyone from the national. Mm-hmm. And then ODP... Yeah, I would say it's exactly that, just one step down. Mm-hmm. Do you think that the experience of, of participating in the ODP kind of maybe helps you out a little bit with just kind of, I don't, I don't want to say randomness, but just yeah. kind of just having a different experience of just people you're not familiar with, right? Because you, you didn't know anyone at the U15 Girls yes. National Team camp. I mean, I knew probably two players. Oh, you did? Okay, that. I right, knew cool. just two players, but still. And I've met so many players from uh-huh. that. But like you weren't friends with those play- Like It's probably people you've probably played against, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 But like... ODP helps me because I am playing with players that I don't know, mm-hmm. and that just helps because with that experience, it, going into the national team camp, it just made it a little bit easier. Nice. What, 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 one final thing on the ODP, what, what, do you, what do you look forward to the most about the ODP program? Just playing against other people now that I know, and even the coaches, like some of the coaches for the other uh, states, I know some of them. Mm-hmm. So, and that I just think it's fun, competition, being mm-hmm. Playing against people that you know, which I'm assuming can't be bad for college recruiting, right? To, <laughs> to get get exposure and have a lot mm-hmm. of different coaches see you, because I think that's the thing everyone forgets. Because you never know, right? Like you just said, you never know that one coach that you may know yeah. may know someone over here. Because you're so young, you, you got years to think of college, mm-hmm. right? Don't think of college. You know, just stay <laughs> stay stay in. You know, don't even think about that yet. But you know, knowing these coaches, you never know what could lead down the road, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's very cool. Um, you know, talk a little bit of kind of like the club, you know, kind of what you guys are doing at Phoenix Rising. You know, Paul Taylor, I know he's your coach. He mm-hmm. always coaches like one of the, you know, always, I feel like always the top girls <laughs> teams at, at, at Rising, but just, you know, kind of how's the season going for you guys? It's it's going good. It's a little bit, little bit rough sometimes, mm-hmm. but we're able to make it through as a team and we're hoping to get a win this weekend. Nice. Just this weekend, not the rest of the season? Well, yes, yeah, the rest yeah, of the season, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, you know, talk talk about, about that. I mean, you, you know, 
Arizona, we always kind of feel like there's always like this bad stigma of so many mm-hmm. players, you know, don't really come from Arizona. But you look at all the pro players, you know, Julia Richardson, McDonald. Yep. You know, you know, what do you see with you know Ashley Hatch? I mean, Kelly Far- uh, Frankie Harson, I'm butchering her last name, but there's a lot of girls playing professional soccer. Brookson, there's a girl playing UEFA Champions League in Europe right now. I mean, are these all people that you kind of look up to, or, or you know, how, how, does, how does that kind of work for you? I mean, Julie Ertz and Jessica McDonald. Oh my gosh, I can't say it. But yes, I look up to them because uh-huh. they're on the national team and because they're representing Arizona. Mm-hmm. And it's just cool to be able to know that I am going through some of the steps that they have gone to get to where they are. Mm-hmm. And it's it's inspiring. It's kind of crazy, right? Like, mm-hmm. like it's one thing. To, like you see Julia Ertz now, and you yeah. know, it's like stud U.S. Women's National Team player, winning World Cups. But like at one time, she was in your position, yep. just like playing down at the park down the street. Yes, that's crazy, isn't it? It's yeah, yeah. it's. It's surreal. Almost. Yeah, I mean, I'm guessing the, the U15 kind of had been like that. I mean, you, you put the crest on, you're wearing it, also oh, you're like, yes. oh my gosh, like this is, oh, this is legit, yeah. right? Yeah, me and my friends, as soon as we got the jerseys to put on, uh-huh. we were just all freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> it was just, it was awesome. Did you get to keep? I, I know, like they're kind of stingy about gear. Did you at least get to keep some stuff? I got to keep. I got to keep just one shirt and a pair of shorts. Okay. But I mean, I'll do. You've been wearing yeah. this shirt every day, right? Almost. Yeah. <laughs> almost every day. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's 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 pretty cool though. I mean, mm-hmm. how do you how do you see it as for you like? I'm sure your teammates asked you about the experience. So, mm-hmm. so it's cool that you get to talk to your teammates, but for like other kids that, that you don't get to talk to that your age that are maybe on that cusp, right, or kids that, that see themselves with the opportunity, what would you tell them that, to, you know, what have you done that has allowed you this exposure to get you to that level? I would say just being able to push yourself mm-hmm. at all practices, even if the level isn't that good, just pushing yourself, working on your own development, and being able to go out, go outside of practice and work on how... I don't know, say taking an extra day out, going like for one to two hours Mm -hmm. and just working on what you need to work on. That helps so much. And that's, I've been doing that for the past year and it's helped me a lot. Now that I'm putting you in the spotlight, but I thought you mentioned something that was really interesting. You said not, even if the level's not good. Span it, what do you mean by that? So if, I don't know how, so say if you have a level uh-huh. that isn't as good but say you're looking forward to this level yeah. don't worry on the other players successes worry on about your own development okay. and just being able to push yourself more than anyone else on the field okay got it yeah that makes sense right because mm-hmm. right it's it's it is a team game but at the end of the day to get to that next level you do have to like you said mm-hmm. you have to work it's not just at practice it's outside of practice yes. it's doing the extra runs it's doing the extra workouts it's mm-hmm. It's, I don't know what I don't know what you do, but I'm assuming yeah. you probably do all that stuff. Like yeah. The finishing drills, going to the park. I'm sure making your dad, who's right there, he, he, I'm sure he's the all-time goalkeeper for you, right? Or, or now that you're I mean, a center sorta. back, now that you're a center back, he's probably the all-time forward, right? <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, I would say so. Yeah, it's sometimes. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. yeah. Well, very cool. I think I think it's an awesome experience. So um, I know you got a lot of things coming up. ODP, I know, is in a couple weeks, mm-hmm. um, and then you know, hopefully, get another call up to the U15 girls national team. Yeah. Very cool experience. Very cool, very cool. Well, Brooke, thank you so much for jumping in today. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. You can watch her. I'm I'm probably downplaying her, but you can watch her ball out at ODP. (laughs) She led all goal scorers last year. I do know this. I think you scored 10 goals last year at ODP. I know I keep talking about ODP, but if you want to watch (laughs) her play, she crushed it last year. You guys, like, smoked every team last year. It's actually kind of fun to watch you guys. It was, it was good. good. It was fun to play that. Yeah, see, I know, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah, I know. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for watching the AZ Kicks Show. We'll be back again with another episode of Brooke. Thank you so much for coming in today. Thank you so and much. thank you for watching. Appreciate it. Thank you.